Hello, fish fans, ant fans, and fans of me in general. I jest. Hello, welcome to the channel. I have a dream, ladies and gentlemen. A dream that one day Kate Beckinsale will give me a right. <clears throat> Duff about that woman. She likes younger men, not the mature, sexy type. So today, what are we doing? My dream is that my fish tank, my aquarium, will look like a piece of the Amazon has been picked up and put down, and we've got a long way to go. A long way to go. Today, we're going to be doing a tank clean, a water change, and we're also going to be introducing some new creatures to the wonderful world a box of fish and you are more than welcome to join me. So let's jump in, join this experience and maybe, just maybe, you can teach me, I can teach you and we can learn something together in the wonderful world of fish keeping. Voila! Operation Fish Day, what are we actually going to be doing today? Well you can see, I was going to say this is the state of the tank but that makes it sound like it's in a really bad place, which it isn't. If I zoom back a little bit you can see the tank is really rather nice and yes we do have some new inhabitants. We have some cardinal tetras at the back there and we also have some beautiful rummy nose tetras. Although I got four from one supplier, four from another and unfortunately the ones from a certain supplier were all grey and they haven't come out pink so whether they're females I don't know but these really are beautiful, they're like jewels in the night. So the process today is, actually I've got a few nerite snails here as well doing their job uh, dotted around the tank. So the process today is I want to move the water filter that's at the back and these Amazon swords keep blowing into that all the time and it's getting clogged up because these grow I swear I've cut these down and they seem to grow within one to two days they're already at the top of the tank again. So I may move these Amazon swords maybe over into one of the corners because we don't have a lot going on down here at this side. So that's the thing what we're going to be doing today. We're also going to be doing a 50% water change and we will be using the Python. Here in my unbelievably messy fish cupboard we have some new arrivals. And I bought 10 Amano shrimps and I spoke to the person on eBay. They said, oh yeah, this will be brilliant for you. Your ground cleanup crew in your Roma 240, huge tank. Let's just say, I'm worried about putting them in the tank now because the Cardinal Tetras, even the smallest one, is probably gonna have a right tasty little shrimp barbecue because these things are tiny. I've actually got them in this bucket now while we sort the tank out before we put them in and you're probably not even gonna be able to see. I've put some food in there for them. I'll try and get a better shot with the macro lens, but these things are tiny. And I have got a drip acclimatization kit, which I will be showing you. But what does it matter if they're really tiny? Your fish won't eat them. Well, that's not really the problem I have. The water flow that I've got in the high door is just going to blow these things all over the place. Here's the other issue. The high door that's putting some water flow around in this tank because the flow in the Roma 240 it is terrible, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, Fluval, but it is. There is absolutely no water agitation whatsoever up at the top of the tank here unless I use this thing. Now I am going to be moving this today and I'll talk about that where we're going to be putting it. Now my issue is here with the intake valve on the fluval. Because they didn't tell me that these shrimps were probably an inch long, they're going to get sucked into there and they're going to die and I don't have anything at all that I can put over there. So what it might have to do for the first time in my life, I may actually have to go to Morrison's and buy some ladies tights. Insert joke there about usually ripping off Kate Beckinsale's tights rather than... You get the idea. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a solution. Where there's a problem, there's, a, there's, there's well, there's more problems. But anyway, what I've decided to do is because I haven't got a pair of tights and I'm not going to queue up for an hour and a half down there for a pair of them. I'm going to use this old spare net and I'm going to cut this off and put that around the intake filter and hopefully, I'm hoping that will work. Ladies and gentlemen, do get some supervision if you plan on doing this. Do you know what, I might just... But you don't want to watch me cutting that out all day. That. That's the plan, lads! And ladies and gentlemen and everybody else in between. Uh, hoping that the ground crew, the Nerites is one here, and the uh, Amano Japonica, although I think they've changed the name of the Amano shrimp now, would help with this hair algae issue, which I'm told is a issue to do with 
CO2 and FERTs and light. And I've been given different advice on both of these things, which I'll talk about later in the video if you're interested. If you're still here, I hope you're still here. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the lights off and we're going to get the 50% water change out and from there it makes it a little bit easier to clean and move things in the tanks. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's get head cam on and let's get cleaning. So now that we are almost ready, we have our little connection tube here. And because we are using the Roma 240, the one that actually comes with this is a little bit too small. So we've gone for the, gone for the, don't make a dirty joke. We've gone for the large suction tube here. And we're just gonna put that in the water there. And something I've started to use is, of course, you can rest this against a rock like that, if you want to. Let me just put that there. But what I've also been using, if we go to the fish cupboard, is I've been using these little plastic mounted crocodile clips and they can actually hold the pipe for you here like so and it makes it just a little bit easier and you can actually do it on there as well so let's just position this in a place where it's on the rocks for now like so and I think we are ready is that valve open the valve is open want to suck the plants up but of course we want to uh, try and get a little bit of the gravel in there if you're even going to be able to see anything down there up the pipe it's quite a lot actually that's going to come out on the video we're almost down at 50 percent it's time to turn the water off and we'll clean up the rest of the tank one of the first things I think we'll do is we'll take off the Hydro water pump, which is this thing, which is absolutely brilliant. And it comes with different settings and we are going to be changing the front setting here. Because we've got some shrimps now, we can put on a different element and a different fitting here on the front. And we're going to be repositioning this by undoing this cable all along the side of the tank. And we're going to have a little bit of a cable management, I think. I think we're going to be having a little bit of a... A little bit of a tidy up because a, a tidy tank in my eyes is a beautiful tank in case you were wondering what i was talking about this is it the hydro coralina it's a spanish so exotic uh, coralina i imagine she's wearing a floral dress she's brunette and sweat dripping down <laughs> uh, this is the um the 5000 uh, 3.5 watt version and as I mentioned it does come with these little extra little gubbins and on the back you can see there's different ones for a gentle water flow uh, one for protection of small fish and shrimps and one for the very small fast this Amazon sword this plant is unbelievable I can cut this plant and within the same day these leaves have reached the top of the tank I'm not honestly I am not joking this plant is incredible that will give a bit of interest and a little bit of flow in the tank on this side. More gunk, sir. We've got more gunk all over the tank. Let's get rid of the gunkage. No woman likes gunk on her. Oh, there we go. So now we have this plant. Now, if you know what this plant is, again, please do tell me because this plant grows like lightning. This plant is the same as the Amazon sword. It just seems to love the tank at the minute and I can cut this stuff replant it and it grows up to the top of the tank almost instantly and do you know what I'm going to add a bit of depth and a bit of interest here by putting this in the mid to foreground so now that we've got most of the cleaning done in this tank it's time to get the water back in and we will be adding some water treatment and some ferts and I'll show you what I'm using in those and then we shall see about getting our shrimps drimp shrimp drimp drip acclimatized <sighs> incidentally ladies and gentlemen i've got a bad i've got coronavirus haircut hasn't had an haircut for months make sure when you put your water in you keep putting your finger underneath it to test how hot or how cold this water is because my hot water goes on and off all the time you don't want to fry your fish and also you don't want to boil them or freeze them to death uh, this is putting it in the corner so it's not putting up too much sediment but just make sure you keep an eye on this as you put in your water up to turn the top. Oh, found the brown. Let's talk about fertilizer. Yes, we're not going to be putting cow muck in that tank but I've been recommended that I need to get some ferts in because my potassium and my nitrates 
been a little bit low. Let's just move the shrimpage, the shrimps out of the way. And this is what I've been using. I've been using Neutro Plus plus Neutro C42. These two, and as you can see, I've already marked on here that I need to put in 12 millimeters every day of this, and approximately five millimeters of this for the initial dosing until my tank starts to get up to a more healthy standard. Start acclimatizing a shrimpage. And so there we go, we've cleaned the outside of the glass as you can see it's a little bit mucky in there now. There's a bit of the sediment that's come up and the water is gonna need dechlorinating. But our fish are in and I can tell already by the flow here that that pump is gonna be blowing that CO2 hopefully down this end of the tank. Now what this also means is is that this side of the tank is looking a little bit bare and empty and I will be ordering some more plants. Um, to try and fill in this section as this section looks like a beautiful jungle and the other side is completely empty but one thing I forgot to put in incidentally is my shrimp glass because I want to keep the tank nice and nice and clean if I can and shrimps are renowned for being a bit dirty and throwing food everywhere so I am going to be putting this in the tank as well and in the following video maybe in the next video we'll be getting our shrimps in I will see if I can get some footage with my macro lens of some of the shrimp that are actually in there. Please let them still be alive because at the minute I can't see any of them. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing, liking and sharing and supporting me as a small fish keeping channel. I am learning every day and the more you get into it, the more you enjoy it. And on a night time, I found I've just been turning the lights off, having this on blue and just watching them. It just looks amazing in the tank at night. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, share, like, goodness, more fishy and ant goodness coming real soon to the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Gotta get these shrimps to grow bigger now, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Not very interesting. <coughs>